All right, we're on page 192. We're gonna be looking at Kramer's rule. Okay, let's see, be the coefficient matrix of the system, AX plus BY equals M, FX plus GY equals M. Okay, so you get the, the coefficient matrix is using the coefficients of X and Y. So A, B, and F, G are the coefficients and the coefficient matrix is going to be A, B, F, G. Alright, the solution of the system is X equals the determinant of the last column right here, MN, the, first, the second column, B over G, divided by the determinant of this matrix. Y is equal to the determinant of A over F, M over N, and that's over, divided by the determinant of this matrix again. And that's if the determinant of the coefficient matrix right here is not equal to zero. So let's look at an example here. Solve the system by using Kramer's rule. So we're going to use determinants to find where these two lines would intersect. Now it's this ha they have to be um, in the form AX plus BY equals uh, M and FX plus GY equals N. Okay, it has to be XY on the left side and a number on the right hand side. All right, so this is my way of doing it. I do it slightly different in the book. I do determinant of the last column and the second column divided by the column, divided by the first column and the second column. So X, I think my way is a little shorter to under, and easier to understand. So you got the last column, which is 15 and negative 29. And then your second column, negative six and four. And then that is all over your first and second, five, three. And negative six, four. Y is gonna equal the determinant of your first and last. 5, 3, 15, negative 29. And then notice that in the denominator you have the same determinant. 5, 3, negative 6, 4. So you multiply this way. 15 times 4 is 60. Minus 6 times 29, 174. Okay, and that's all over 5 times 4 is 20. Minus negative 18. 5 times negative 29, negative 145 minus 45 all over the same thing, right? This is the same as this. 5 times 4 is 20 minus negative 18 so plus 18, same thing. 60 minus 174 negative 114 all over 38. So that's your x value, your y value. Okay, you got uh, 145 plus 45, 190 over 38. Divide. Okay, and now you have at least three ways to check your answer. You could graph this on Desmos. You could use substitution or elimination. Okay, so you could check your answer. If you put these two equations in on Desmos, you would find that these two lines intersect at the point negative three, negative five.